Thunder Blast! Allow me to explain everything from the beginning. About my sons. And my mother. My mother, Kaguya Atsutsuki, came to your land from a very distant place. She came to harvest the fruit of the Divine Tree. In this war, you saw the Divine Tree as well, didn't you? She harvested its chakra fruit. She ingested the fruit, acquired its power, and then came to rule this land. But a power that's too strong creates conflict. In the end, people both worshipped her as the rabbit goddess and feared her as a devil. Then Kaguya gave birth to two sons, one of them was me. In order to atone for the sins that our mother left behind, we fought with the Ten Tails, the incarnation of the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree had gone berserk and was trying to reclaim the fruit that had been taken from it. It was a violent battle. We were both wounded, but we persevered, achieved victory, and sealed the Ten Tails inside me. Then some time passed, and I fathered two sons. I named the elder one Indra, the younger one Asura, and taught them about Ninshu. They were both my sons, but there was one big difference between them. One possessed genes that had strongly inherited my chakra, while the other's was rather weak. Indra was truly a genius. He could do anything on his own, and took pride in how he was different from other people. In contrast, Asura never seemed to succeed in anything and he wasn't able to achieve anything on his own. Therefore, he always put forth effort and depended on help from his allies. They also answered Asura's calls for help, which created harmony. Through watching how Asura lived, I caught a glimpse of a new possibility. That's when I decided to entrust Ninshu to Asura. But Indra wouldn't accept it. And thus began a long, long battle. The feud didn't end between Indra and Asura. Even after their bodies died, their chakra never disappeared, and over time, they were reincarnated over and over again. Naruto. 
Earlier I told you that you were the reincarnation of Asura. Now do you understand? And the current reincarnation of Indra is... Sasuke. Exactly. Indra's chakra dwells within Sasuke. My son's chakra moved from Hashirama and Madara to you two. Even now, after decades and centuries, the brothers' battle continues. So this whole time, Great Grandpa, you've been watching your kids fight with each other? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Huh. Through Ninshu, I tried to explain that Chakra was here to connect individuals. But Kaguya used Chakra only for herself and unified the world with its power. But unification through power is nothing but a rampage. Therefore, she became a being to fear.